I've heard many of you say that school is like a prison. Oh, prison. Oh, this is prison. What is it that makes a shape of a prism? Or what is a prism? I will give you the exact definition from the book. Listen to this. This will confuse and amaze your friends. A prism is a three-dimensional solid three-dimensional solid with two congruent parallel faces with two congruent parallel faces. How many words in that statement do you have? Actually, no idea what they mean. Anybody? Let's look at the simple ones here. What does the word congruent mean? Anybody congruent? All righty, then it's equal. Or the same. In this case, let's put the same. Well, equal maybe would be better. Parallel means, what does it mean to be parallel? Okay, never cross. Like telephone wires that are parallel. Um, solid? Isabel? Not liquid. Not liquid, no. Well, you had, uh, yeah, sure, why not? No. That's, that's kind of in science one that solid in this means just a shape that's not a flat shape. It's like a three dimensional shape. But this kind of three dimensional solid is, you know, boxes and balls and things like that, not like flat pieces of paper. So, what that means is simply this. In order for something to be a prism, check this out. I'm going to draw two congruent shapes. Here's one here, and I'm going to draw this one here as best I can, make them the same size. Are they close at least? Yeah, yeah relatively. Okay. There, there, those are, here's my two parallel congruent bases. And if you happen to take a line and connect their corners, okay, you get a prism. Now, usually when we draw these things, we put dashes for the lines that we can't see. So if these back here would kind of be dashed a little bit because you can't really see them there. And sometimes when you're feeling fun and excitable, you can shade in the different sides so that you can kind of see a three-dimensional kind of look to it. What else? What other color do I have? I think I need something else here. Okay. So there, this, by the way, and prisms are named for their bases. So this shape right here, because it's made up of all rectangles, is called a, I got it, it's called a rectangular, did I spell that right? Prism. Everybody's a critic. That's just the way it works here. A rectangular prism. Is there a border button on this? There's got to be. Somebody? Anybody? Is there a bring the front button? I think so. I don't. He's trying to do All right, well, let's skip that here. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll just go the other way. I wanted to start with the maze with. Oops. <laughs> See, there it is. What? Let's change the color to blue. Nope. Nope. <laughs> wait, I'll just wait a second. I got here. Change this color to red. Oh. Yeah. See the rectangular prism. Oh, it doesn't work quite right there. <laughs> What? Oh, You're that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Just pretend that says rectangular prism. Um, <laughs> now, it gets a little more complicated, though, if you're talking about 
um, maybe a maybe a pentagon. Okay, so here's a pentagon as best I can draw. I probably have tools that could do that for me. There's a pentagon. I'm gonna try to draw one just like it over here. Here's a pentagon. Not my best word. Yeah, it's always gonna be bigger. If I connect the corners that are corresponding here. Now that might look a little goofy until I do a little bit of get rid of some of the stuff there. Uh, what side do I want to see? Okay, let's say I don't see this side. Those lines are all too long. Here, let's try this. Wait, this will help you out. I'll make this smaller. Looking more like a. Yeah. Oh, wait, am I missing something? Yes, this one. No. Now, this will help you a little bit even more. Watch this. We'll shade this. And here's the thing to remember, kids, and we will talk about this numerous times when you get older. In math, when we talk about the base of an object, usually when people think of bases, they think of what, Charlie? Like a base. Base, base strong? A base <laughs> A base baseball. Baseball, basement. No, when you think of base in math, or in base in anything, like if I ask you the base of your table, sometimes we say that's what? Atlantis? It's the bottom. But that's not true in math. Not always true. It can be true. It can be true, but it's not. Notice what bases, what were my bases here? My bases were my pentagons, and they're not on the bottom. Okay? To which I tell you, I've come, I've developed this as my own personal theory here. Um, it's true. This is my theory. If you ever wonder what a base is in math, think of my what I like to call my loaf of bread theory. Okay. If you have a shape, let me throw one at you here. Uh, I guess it'll have to I wanted a different shape than what I get. Oh yeah, no, this is a good one. All right, this will work. If I have this shape, which I used to have a color for, and I asked you what the base of this is, now if I set it like this, and you thought the bottom was the base, you'd say, well, this this is the base, but it's not. What I want, what you need to think about is, if this was a loaf of bread, okay, and you were going to cut it up to stick in the toaster to make some toast, what way, how would you, how would you cut it so that you always got the exact same identical pieces? And if you said that this was the base and you kept cutting it like this, you'd keep getting rectangles, but as you got towards the middle, they used to be really fat rectangles and then back to little skinny rectangles. Okay, so that's not the rectangle here. That's not the base. So Laney Kabak, the base is, I need the name of the shape of the base. It's not the rectangles that are around the outsides, but it is the lance. That's not an octagon. <laughs> Oh wait, is it a knife? No, it's a hexagon. Okay. The hexagon is the base because if I kept slice, if I had a loaf of bread baked like this hexagonal prism, every slice I would slice this way, and they all look just like this hexagon. So in math, when you're thinking about bases, always think of the loaf of bread sort of thing. I wish I had another one. Now, here's the only exception to that. The only real exception to that is this rectangular prism. If I asked you what the base of this was, Drew, 
any of the sides or the bases because you could cut this like a loaf of bread like this, slice it like that. You could cut it like this, or you could cut it even like this. So in a rectangular prism, there really is, everything is kind of the base if you want it to be the base. But not so in pentagonal prisms, not so in hexagonal prisms, uh, not so in triangular prisms. Here's another one. What is the base of this one? Lance? The it is the triangle. Even if it doesn't matter what it's setting on, the base is the part that when you cut it, it's always that same exact shape there. Um, and then the other thing they're asking you is we've talked about these before, haven't we? Maybe, maybe not. Edges? Yeah. Yeah. Edges and faces and what? What's the third one, remember? Vertices. How many edges? does this pentagonal prism have? How many edges? Remember, edges are the places where the two sides meet and they form the little, form these little things right here, these little sedges have edges. Molly, how many edges does this thing have? It's got a lot, so make sure you look at the right. Five. Huh? Oh, well, it's got five that go around. Here's one. Two that you can't see, three, four that you can't see, five, but you also have to count these. You've also got these edges here. So it's got five that surround it. Maybe I should make some flashes for you. One, two, three, four, five around the, the outside of it. Then you've got another one, two, three, four, five there. And then you've got another one, two, three, four, five. Five there. So that pentagonal prism has how many, Keith? Fifteen. Fifteen edges. How many faces? Again, be careful. You got ones that go around the side. You got two bases are faces. No oh, bases are faces. <laughs> Elijah? I get seven as well. And then how many vertices or points? Ten. Ten. You got eleven. How about this? How many vertices? How many vertices on the rectangular prism? How many vertices there? Brooklyn. How many vertices up here on my rectangular prism? Um. How many edges? Page. What do you think? What's that? Good edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that I must have erased, eleven, twelve. Gotta get that. Perfect. Um, Okay, so remember for something to be a prism, it has to have two identical bases, one on each side, and then it's got those sides surrounding each other.